It's official I-69 is expanding to the Rio Grande Valley and signs like those behind me indicating that's an interstate will be popping up over the coming weeks and months. TxDOT officially unveiled the first South Texas I-69 road sign in FAR today. Instrumental to making this happen is former U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson, who pushed to get signage for the interstate through her last appropriations bill. Now that the signs are up, that there will be a lot more opportunities. I think the federal funding will flow. I feel really good about this. And this corridor is going to be so important for Texas. Thanks to a recently changed law, sections of the highway that are up to interstate standards may be converted to interstate status without having to connect to other sections of the interstate. The more than $700 million project will eventually consist of three I-69 legs, east, central, and west, as well as 83 converting to interstate two. Valley lawmakers are promising the new interstate will bring more economic development. Any uh, society will tell you that if you have highway infrastructure, you are going to move people and goods faster, and that means more economic developments. Tourism is going to double and triple. UTPA President Dr. Robert Nelson says it will help the expanding university as well. Well, for the university, it means that we'll be able to grow. It means we'll have more businesses down here. We'll have more jobs for our students. We'll be able to work and partner better with businesses. It's a very exciting Legislators say they hope the new interstate increases the already $1.2 billion worth of trade each day between Mexico and the U.S. The I-69 project is made up of 36 smaller road construction projects, and it all depends on the funding as to when those will be finished. Reporting in FAR, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.